When you go back to the beginning of Chromebooks and Chrome OS and you scale that forward to today, to what that operating system and what these devices eventually became, it's honestly kind of crazy where they started. It wasn't even really an operating system. It was basically just a web browser and that's all it really was. And over time, Google has added on and added on and built this thing out until it's become a proper operating system. It is still heavily based around the Chrome web browser, but you can run Linux apps, you can run Android apps. It's got a lot of design elements that have actually maybe possibly influenced some of the bigger operating systems on the market. However, all that being said, when you go from something so basic to something that is much more complicated, much more feature rich as Chrome OS has, you're going to have some growing pains, maybe some early ideas that don't translate all that well to where the operating system is now going. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about one such aspect of Chrome OS that is beginning to change. Google is about to effectively break up the marriage between Chrome and Chrome OS, decoupling the browser from the operating system itself. Now, even though this has not officially rolled out and happened yet, you can already test it out. All you gotta do is click in the address bar of your Chrome OS device, type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Then you need to search for L-A-C-R-O-S. I don't know how this is meant to be red, lacrosse, maybe something like that. I'm gonna call it lacrosse because I'm sure that's actually going to make people angry. But of course it is just an acronym because it actually stands for Linux and Chrome OS. It's sort of a weird acronym combining those words. Anyways, search for lacrosse and then you should see an option that says lacrosse support. Turn that on and then search for lacrosse primary and turn that on as well. There's a restart button down below. And once you come back into your Chrome OS installation, you will see that your Chrome icon is now yellow. And that is because it is using this new version of Chrome. And basically what this is, is it's the Linux version of Chrome running within your Chromebook. Now, why is Google doing this? Why are they taking the Chrome OS version of Chrome throwing that away and replacing it with the Linux version. Well, there are a couple of big reasons. And the biggest reason is going to be security. The idea of having your web browser and your operating system linked as they are currently with Chromebooks doesn't really make sense because Google is now throwing out security updates for their Chrome web browser super, super frequently, way more frequently than they can do operating system updates. So currently, Chromebooks can't get those security patches as quickly because they have to wait for full OS updates rather than just web browser updates. So if you decouple them, you can update the browser and the operating system separately. There's a reason every other operating system behaves this way. Your apps and your OS should be able to be updated independently from one another. Another interesting side effect of this is that you'll now be able to switch between Chrome profiles in your browser just like you do on any other Chrome browser on your computer, MacBook, whatever it might be, Linux, et cetera, et cetera. You can just switch between different accounts and different profiles unlike before where that was going to be a lot more difficult. The accounts were actually like tied into the Chrome OS operating system. Now they can be tied into the web browser alone. This is another one of these sort of small steps towards making Chrome OS an even more full-fledged operating system. And this change makes a ton of sense. Now this is not, again, pushed out live for everyone for a reason. You may encounter some issues here and there. And if you do, what you have to do to roll this back Instead of going to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, you're going to go to OS colon forward slash forward slash flags and undo the process that we just did. And you'll roll back to the built in browser until it is fully baked and ready to be rolled out to everybody. At any rate, guys, pretty interesting. Never thought we would see the day that Chrome would be decoupled from Chrome OS, but here we are. It is happening and should roll out relatively soon. Google's been working on this for quite a while, so hopefully this does get finished up and rolled out pretty soon because, like I said, there are some pretty logical benefits there. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.